Hey, what's going on? It's Boss Brit the Most Lit. What's up? It's your girl DJ Excel. And this is the No Homo Show. Where everything we talk about is homo as f. Gay, 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 Welcome back. Yes, and shout out to everybody watching us on YouTube and shout out to everybody listening to us yeah. on Spotify and Apple Podcast. Shout out to our team, Revolt. Yeah, big ups to Revolt, man. Make sure y'all turn on them notifications too, y'all. We got heat coming for y'all all 2024. And get y'all merch too, because we almost sold out. We almost sold out. Y'all better hurry up. Go, yes. go ahead and yes. get that. Go ahead and get you that. You see that hat? That's on the website. I prefer what? Coochie. Coochie. Period. Come on, Coochiana. <laughs> All right. I see <laughs> We got a very special guest in the building today. Y'all already know who it is, but I'm going to let you do the honors. Please introduce yourself. Let people know who you are and what you you're, do. You're, what's good, you guys? A I L Woo Dee Woo. Find the motherfucking bang on. Do Um, I'm going to know how much so. Thank you guys. Brit, DJ Excel. Yeah. Of course. I don't know what's in store, you guys. Yeah, I know I do a lot of stuff. I am the creator, uh, director, producer of one of the number one reality shows in the USA of right now. You can find it on Tubi and YouTube, Hoochie Daddies. Hey, yeah. and be on the lookout for season two. So, Hoochie yeah. Daddies. All the way live. live. I done came outside. Came outside. <laughs> yeah. Y'all, this is Woody's <laughs> first interview yes yeah. uno is my first interview that's crazy I, 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 y'all said that's so good coming in the unit y'all look, look unisons like yeah yeah that's what we and my it's twins, the chemistry my you know what i mean twin. This is definitely long overdue, so, you know what I'm saying? He was on our wish list for a very long time. Oh, so. yeah, we definitely, I definitely been wanting to, we're going to do this. this yeah, is my first yeah we, was, we was crossing paths, like, in the summertime, mm-hmm. and we just kept saying, like, yo. No, it's crazy, because, right. yeah, I know we were supposed to do it in a... Uh, what it was? Vegas? Vegas? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then that man assaulted me on the plane and I ended up missing. Oh, yeah. They kicked me off the flight. Yeah, they kicked oh, me off the flight. Oh, I didn't know you got kicked off. Yeah, I had to catch the net flight. Ended up having to sleep in the Phoenix airport for that oh. night. Yeah, Damn, I, was, I didn't what? know that happened. I, I you thought love. you missed your flight. Yeah, the weather or something. started airborne me. Why? Because I said, girl, I got a shaking problem. So I went to shake my leg. He said, you shaking a lot. You okay? I said, yeah, I'm okay. I just I can shake my leg. I'm not bothering nobody. You know? I ain't going to lie. That leg shake my leg through that shit. That annoyed she, she me. For real? Like, you yeah. You know my sister too. She don't let me sit by her when I shake my you leg. You be shaking like a motherfucking stripper. It go with nine miles per Damn, hour. Damn, so like y'all started arguing on the plane? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's crazy. They put both of y'all off or just you? Both of them. Oh, okay. I was about to say, hold this on. This plane won't go nowhere if I Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. But first, he was know. harassing me. Now, you're assaulting me. I said, this is what you do? Oh, uh, y'all let passengers assault motherfucking one? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Damn, I didn't know I'm that. I'm glad you made it here. Say, to the yeah. ATL. And we got a big ass party tonight. Look, hopefully, we have like a recap or something by the time it's come out. But we got a big ass party. With Woody in the building it's gonna tonight. Be dumb tonight. It's our Hell seven yeah. year anniversary. It's Woody birthday, Aquarius yeah. season. Yeah. Now I'll be telling them that February Aquarius is different from January. Would you agree? Yeah, I do. Yep. Y'all we, more crazy, right? We born in uh, Black History Month. We different. <laughs> What that mean? She <laughs> she killed that. You talking about crazy? She like nah. Uh, like, y'all look crazy. Uh, definitely activists. <laughs> <laughs> activists is crazy. Yeah. Oh, we. All right, let's um, get into it. All man. right. So we start off with skittles and riddles. All right. So there's a riddle inside that skittle bag, and it's a gay riddle. All right. So just think gay. All okay. right. So if you get the answer wrong, you gotta take a shot. Okay. So just go ahead, pick out a riddle, and I'm not gonna lie, you gotta kind of think out some box, dumb shit. Yeah, out it's box, something gay. dumb and gay. I got you one from the bottom. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm drinking the day off. I'm a first top. I got me a little Look, drink today. We got we got I'm both. First top. We got both for drinking too. Okay. Yeah. What's a lesbian? What's a lesbian favorite bean? <laughs> oh. Favorite bean. Yeah. That's easy, right? Is it? Lesbian. Hilarious. Oh. Lesbian. Did you really yeah. help me no, out? No, I mean, it gotta, it gotta be lesbian, well, though. Like, unless it's a jelly so bean. She was supposed to get it wrong so she could take a shot. I'll still yeah, take, a, take shot. a shot. All right, hold up. Let's see if it's right. What Let's number What shot. number is it? 30. Because it gotta I, be it. That sounds Jelly good. bean. Lesbian was in the question. So what? It don't matter. This don't fall on the rules. A lesbian. Yeah, that makes sense. It just. <laughs> it do make sense, but let's see. Let me find out I got my first one right on here. Know, That's some that. Snapple on the top of the uh, cap type question. <laughs> type shit. Actually, y'all, that's not All right, so right. guess then, Booty. You can't. Oh, Since yeah, I got okay. it wrong, you got to take a guess. So it's not. That's crazy. This, like, like What's I a said, lesbian's favorite bean? Pinto bean. Yeah. <laughs> you got <laughs> baby <laughs> llama bean. 
Yeah, black fruit, baked beans. Uh, she going down beans, the soup. Green. So I'm food, food. Baked bean. beans. Y'all, it's not. It it don't even got the word I, bean in it. it mm. don't. No, what it's stupid. What the fuck stupid. else is a bean? It's stupid. A I, I would just say jelly bean. It must be jelly because <laughs> jam don't shake. Okay. <laughs> it says ones you can flick. Get the I, fuck out of here. <laughs> That's funny I mean, though. That, I don't get it though. They, they, they call it a clit a bean. Guess, they, they, they call it a clit a bean? They call I never bean. heard that. Nobody would have guessed that. You never heard that either? Yeah. They be calling it, yeah. Flick my, bean. <laughs> flick my bean. I don't want no girl to ever tell me to flick ever. her bean. That's I'm disgusting. I take my shot. Sorry. All right. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> flick. Lesbian was was. I never would have guessed that. Come on now, that was a better one. Yeah, I never would have guessed that. You said what? I never would have guessed that. Me neither. Nah, I ain't mm-hmm. never even heard Flick bean. my bean. That's crazy. All right, well, we're going to get into a whole bunch of gay shit today. Yeah. That's just a little icebreaker that we do to, you know what I'm saying, get it started. So first and foremost, we're going to start with your coming out story. All right, let people know how it was for you, how, when, where, what's coming out the closet for Woody Woo. Ooh. <laughs> I don't even think it really was a closet to come <laughs> out of. I've just always been on the masculine side even uh i i got a, I, I got a twin i got to... a twin and my mom would love to dress us you, know, I, I you was got so, a twin i do she's three minutes older than me okay and hold I, on are y'all fraternal or fraternal. Yeah, okay we fraternal she looked like princess jasmine <laughs> she's three <laughs> three minutes okay i thought you said three months i was like hold on how that <laughs> work out? Was... hold on so um I was so glad when she started letting me dress myself because she wanted to match us and shit. <laughs> but it really wasn't a closet to come out of. And I didn't have no gay people around me, so mm. I didn't really know what gay was. So I just know I like the, you know, the girls. I want to play football. I want to be the daddy when we play yeah. mom and daddy. Exactly. So, um, and then my sisters and them, they were all, she, she was like older than me, so they were already telling me, like, you're going to be gay. You're going to be gay. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, whatever it is, <laughs> you know, fuck you. Because... <laughs> When you young, when you was younger, it wasn't cool. And especially I'm a, I'm an older, you know, I'm an eighty baby, so yeah. I'm an older. I'm an older lesbian. When I was in high school, I was the only gay person in my high school. Like, Damn. How, I ain't gonna lie, me too. And I'm knowing, I'm knowing all the girls on the basketball team gay, and they just scared of what them women don't oh, gonna God. say. Why? Right? Like, you know, we out of town. They in the rooms hunting each other. You know what I'm saying? Well, good <laughs> so, luck for the gay. <laughs> so, but what I can say was I've been blessed in having um and accepting family like they just yeah. they knew before i knew you know what i'm saying before what it is so I mean. and i can't say it's all natural because i know i didn't have no gay people around me on uh, young to yeah. even know what it was you know what i'm mm. saying when they even first when i first heard the word i was like what that is you know right. what I'm saying? so but then when i got to school and i see people you know joking about it on oh, you gay you know what i'm saying i'm like oh Okay, well, but then when I got to high school, I like I ain't missing no hoes. So then I think by my ninth grade year, I was like, nigga, my mama know. Yeah. I don't care who know, you know. So ninth grade, you went public with it. Yeah, right. And how my mama found out, I used to always joke and kid with her. Cause mm-hmm. I used to be young as fuck, y'all on the chat line. I always had. I was on the chat line too. <laughs> what you was on? Black Planet. Uh, I definitely had a Black Planet. <laughs> I, definitely, I definitely had a Black Planet. Got Cloud. Uh, Cloud. Woody, did you have Downy Link? Yes. <laughs> I'm telling y'all if you are OG, I, no. say, I had AOL. Okay. Okay, AOL Messenger. Yes, yeah, yes, I used to be I'm on that talking too. about the actual phone. The dial up? The, the phone chat line. It was a thing. Yeah, you was, was on the phone chat line? It was a thing, down there. It's a thing. It was a thing back in the day. <laughs> Hold on, you was like talking like Yeah, sexual it, would, it would be like a girl side. It would be like a man side. And you was on the man the, side? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, the women can get on that bitch all day for free. They only give you 30 minutes free trial for the men's spot. I had used it. Everybody I knew, I used they 30 minutes. I know, that's right. Like, hey, bitch, hey, you got me... four minutes, but I got a whole lineup. I got catfished as fuck. On twice. the line? I'm going to say twice. When I was, hey, when I was How you get like, catfished? Okay, so the first one. Now that was multiple times. Yeah, the first one, she sounded good on the phone. Yeah. And then, y'all, yeah, this back in the day. It's crazy how technology done boom, but yeah. she sent me a picture of her through the mail. Oh. Through the mail is crazy. Oh, that's crazy. 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 Yeah. But okay. it's a certain type of BBW, you right. know what I'm saying? Got to be put together, like, mm-hmm. you know, you can't have really over two rolls. I got a two-roll limit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 
Let and, me see. Uh, turn around. Ugh. Yeah. Cut it close. And a, you got two and a half. I don't think I can. Uh. <laughs> and then so she give me her address. You know, I pull up <laughs> my friend. And then off the ripple, I, I call her. I'm like, hey, I'm outside. She like, come in. So I'm Oop. like. You know yeah, me, I'm thinking Santa ain't no just come in. You got to right. open the door. I'm For like, what real? you mean come in? So my ass, my young ass, I, I walk in. As soon as I walk in, she's sitting on like a love seat, like my my uh, 600 pound life. I swear to big. I just Yo. did a, you, I did a U-turn and walked right back out. You walked right out? Right out. I was turned around and walked right back out. Yo, I was saying back in the day, they would send pictures from the, like, like from the waist up. Waist up. But this is before we even <laughs> thought. Even be from the waist we up. even thought to say, nah, bitch, I need to see your whole, whole body. body. Yeah. Because especially when they had, like, the little cameras, like, you would just do some shit. <laughs> I don't know. They was definitely finessing, but I ain't never hear nobody getting pictures so set in the like mail, Janet though. Jackson just <laughs> came out looking like Freddie Jackson. Okay. okay. Look, Damn. Damn. Right. We all been catfish. Well, I actually never been catfish. But you no, she was the catfish. I was a catfish, sure. You was the for catfish. years. I used to catfish bitches on To catfish for years. Yeah. How you get? Why? Why? Look, why? I don't know, man. I feel like <laughs> mental, mental illness. I feel like he even probably would hurt. <laughs> that is not funny, but. bitch. It is mental illness because you was in. Um, for real. Yeah, because look. <laughs> She, before she really realized she was gay, she was catfishing women as a guy. Mm -hmm. So I think that's how oh. like some studs might oh. have. I came out of the closet <laughs> trying to give me some bitches on the uh, low. What was your guy name? Alex and Dante. She was real um, famous I people. was multiple different people. Mm, yeah, yeah, I had a whole rollout. Yeah, Promo that's run crazy. was lit. But uh, about your coming out, rollout is great. <laughs> coming out story, it's low key a little easier for studs because your mama looked at you when you was four and was like damn my baby might be gay yeah, yeah. where the fans they'd be like oh my my daughter's so beautiful yeah hold up you want a girlfriend <laughs> right nah right. my mom was like they be knowing it before you know it right. you know what i mean type shit they do i think my whole family knew it before i knew it that's crazy they be knowing it what's up ladies we are taking over miami for magic city miami we got the flyest ladies in the building, the hottest DJs, best performers. You do not want to miss it for an unforgettable weekend. This is an exclusive event for women who love women. Everybody from all over the country will be partying with us, so make sure you party with us too. We'll see you May 16th to the 19th in Magic City, Miami. All right, so let's talk about, like, you're not new to the scene. And, you know, certain things, when it come out and it blow up, like Hoochie Daddies, people think, like, you know, just where the fuck you come from, my first time seeing you. But you've really been outside before the Hoochie Daddies, okay? Yes. Yes. Let's talk about it. So, where would you say your start in entertainment really began? Yeah, I, I was an exotic dancer. Ah! ah! Was your name Woody Woo still? Yes. And okay. for my first, my first show, I came out as Candy Liquor. Candy Liquor! That's so fucking That's gay. That's so gay. It's, it's Candy gay Liquor is fuck. gay as fuck. And, 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 and then I heard how it sounded on the mic, and after that, I was like, Candy oh, no. I That's liquor. a real light skin shit, bro. That's Man, a light, light skin, skin ass name. Ass I was this close to being Casanova. Okay. okay. <laughs> Casanova, Candy Liquor, crazy. Candy and then a lot of dancers aren't tall. So you was giving legs. Picking bitches up on my shoulders and shit. I know that's right. Were you one of the ones that would wear like the long jacket, but then when you take no. it off, it's a thong? Uh uh. <laughs> I mean, Woody, if I, I mean, look up I, your no, archive, I, I think I think I did set the trend for the stud dotted dancers to get more feminine on stage, I stage, cause. You know, I would pull a stud from the crowd and dance on the stud because, baby, money ain't got no gender. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hello? So, you know, this is what you want to see. You can't see let's put on the show. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I know in my head, whatever I'm going to do at the end of the day, yeah. but I, I don't mind. Yeah. yeah. In Atlanta, we see that a lot. And I just grew to be like, yeah, dancers is going to get their money and they going to make By it look good. It, and these studs be sitting on that chair. Ready to get that lap dance, what okay? Okay. You seen raw last night? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Pretty Nasty was giving out lap dances last night. Y'all know. You know, you know. We, we had Pretty Nasty on the show. Yeah, yeah shout and out Pretty I'm, Nasty. Studs be forgetting. She's very pretty, but Studs be forgetting, like, 
But I ain't gonna lie, what? she had like a thorn. I'm gonna say, she, I'm gonna say, she's not your lady. You're masculine, masculine. Yeah. You know, right. she, it's a level masculine. She's yeah. like a level one. You know what yeah. I'm saying? A level one crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you did have a thorn. Uh, no, I know the the farthest I went was lace. Come on, okay. lace. Yeah. I love lace. candy nigga <laughs> with the lace on. But no. I know you was making a bag, man. <laughs> Can you send us oh, a picture? Yeah, Can oh, we yeah. add a picture? Yeah. Can All right. Yeah. Where I'm were sorry. you dancing at? My first show was in Mobile, Alabama. Then I had a show down here at ATL. I think that was For one of real? my favorite highlights. Like it was. Was it big. Phase One? Uh, no, it was with um, Prada at. Uh, it wasn't. At, Shout out Prada. Yeah. Rain. I think so. I Ooh. think it was Rain. So oh, like yeah, this yeah. was like 2016. Yeah, it was like 2016, okay. 2017. That's when I had first moved. I used to do yeah. Blood Rain too. It yeah. Was, yeah, it was like 2016, 2017. Well, when I tell you, it was like cameras everywhere. I could barely even walk through the crowd. It was like a pride. Yeah. ATL. Yeah, and I was like, damn, great. everybody came to see me. Okay, <laughs> great. Yeah. I was like, I got to do. I got to give my motive face tonight. You All know right. what I'm saying? <laughs> you got to work. Bitch, you got to work. And then like, it was just awesome. So then after that, do you do? You, are you a rapper? I, I am a jack of all trades, yes. Okay. I love to do a little parody. Okay, uh, I period. Love. And then in your bio, you got comedian. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh-huh. She gets to the bag. I don't, by all means, motherfucker. Yeah, I think that's how I started out, too, though. Okay. Um, Y'all know I got a skit. It made like 32 million views in four months <laughs> while I was acting retarded in the car. Um, I, I labeled it when you got warrants. Mm -hmm. I've never had a warrant, so fuck you motherfuckers who was talking shit in my comments and they ain't know what it was a skit and ain't got no piece of funny bone in you, motherfucker. Um, they were saying it was real life? Yeah, people were thinking it was real life. Uh, <laughs> it clearly was a skit because the cop wasn't a real cop. No, but it wasn't clearly. Like, especially, the cop wasn't a real cop. I yeah, mean, but it, it looked like a cop. It was a cop outfit. It was it like, a a cop little, outfit like a little stud or something. Yeah, it was, um, what's her name? Um, um, yeah, Message Boy from Temptation, yeah. Let's talk about that motherfucker. Skip. All right, <laughs> we just gonna wait. We just gonna wait for that. But since you talked about it, first of all, and we gonna have to insert it here. Oh, shit, that's the police. Hell yeah, that's the police. Right, do not oh. roll my motherfucking window. It's oh. only one on. They shouldn't even come around now. I got one right my oh, motherfucking window. I got my seatbelt on the day. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. I got it. My name is Laverne. Now I'm what you, what you fuck that. What you got a warrant for? I'm going to uh, fuck that shit. God damn, dog. What the fuck? Here you come. Here you come. Hey, go along. Play along. Shit. Hey, you know what to do. I'm going to record everything. I bet that on my mm. That was a hard tap there, officer. Mm -hmm. You know what? I pulled you over. No, you mm -hmm. scared all though. You were doing a 50 and a 35. No, mm. I didn't even know. I'm just trying to get my cousin mm -hmm. here home. Want to mm -hmm. license and registration? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right, buddy. It's all right, buddy. I'm gonna get you on the girl mom in a minute. Passenger, Massey, your ID too. She don't have an ID. I need your ID. She don't have no you ID. ID. You really <laughs> look like you had a fucking disability. I don't even. I don't. I think that's. I'm gonna say it's a good ability. <laughs> now I would love to have. I would love to do a. Well, I, I am gonna do a movie where I play a special needs character role. Radio Two, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or oh, West Eden Gilbert. <laughs> Y'all ever seen the other sister? Oh, the other did. sister. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. That's no. another. I wouldn't movie. play that because I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes it's hard to unsee shit. Like the girl from um, Orange Is the New Black. I couldn't oh, yeah, uh, crazy yeah, yeah. eyes. I couldn't right. unsee crazy eyes yeah. for like three years. Cause she played it so good. Yeah. Yeah. Especially the uh, what's her name who playing Beloved. Um, I don't think it's Paula Patton. She played Beloved. Like, yeah, like I love it is. Ever. You never seen Beloved? Yeah. It sounds like a black history You classic. know when they do them Facebook posts of movies you post to watch in your life? Is it purple? It's, it's by Oprah Winfrey. Not the color purple. So, it's, one of her, it's one of her movies. i never okay. even seen color purple. Wow. All right, not too much on me. Not too much on me. All right, y'all. We canceled the mic for Boss Brick. You know I'm what I'm saying? I took him back. <laughs> <laughs> Taking them back. <laughs> okay, okay. So that skit went viral, and that was one of your biggest like viral moments at that time. Yeah, yes. that's People crazy. Still, ask, you know, right on the post, like, can you um, maybe you want me to act special needs in real life and stuff? Like and then that. you get since like social media is so woke, you yeah. get people that just be like, this yeah. shit funny, and then you get people that be like, don't be making fun of. People like they yeah. just take shit so deep. Cause that word deep. ain't even allowed to technically be said anymore. So like serious. retarded, you right. know what I'm saying? But I remember when okay. Bernie Mac was doing skits like that, and Thank that was you. like the funniest shit ever. Arnett you know Jay, 
Yeah. He yeah, used bro. to walk with a limp and all. For real. Oh, bro, people need to fucking They be taking the funny out of everything, man. Yeah. They just they just ruin it for But you know, all, and that's why I say comedian, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. And sometimes I do feel, I catch myself trying not talking on the topic. Because sometimes I feel like the trans topic is very oh, touchy. And I ain't even got time because <laughs> not the whole you. fucking internet on Beyonce's internet. Okay. Queen Latifah's internet. I'm sorry. Queen okay. Latifah's internet. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. Nah, that's, okay. that's a fact. But what we're learning is like, first of all, your opinion is your opinion. And it's not the truth for the whole community right. in general, even with studs and everything. Some you know what I'm saying? don't know how to agree to disagree. Yeah. And I exactly. Hate I hate that for them. Exactly. Yeah. And we all here to learn. Like, we've been learning so much on this platform. Like, we might have said some crazy ass shit, but been informed later on. Like, you know, actually, woo woo woo. So it's like, spare us, y'all. Yeah. Show us some grace. You know what I'm saying? God damn it. All right. So let's talk Hoochie Daddies. Hoochie. How did this concept come about? Uh, I, I'm, I'm always thinking. I got I got too many ideas. Mm. Uh, I already seen it was a uh, open space in entertainment. Mm-hmm. Now I never let people who look like me and you on the screen to do our thing for real. For real, we That's still breaking Unless down. You snoop we in still the breaking down <laughs> barrels, just like we just got a first black female uh, vice president. You know what I'm saying? So we still breaking down barrels. So definitely want to do something just for the masculine women. And then something that got a point to it because a lot of stuff they just I uh, I be like okay how did this even all come about you know I just kind of be a great area so um, thought of some dope shit put a little thought into it and some work behind it uh, got my first cast to call got the first group of girls shout out to season one who to that is y'all did y'all shit mm-hmm. over 25 big million ups. views on Tubi big um, ups is, I was so on my YouTube channel get it on TV been pushing that but um had, definitely had to do it in Duval because it was on a budget you know what I'm saying mm. bang 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 <laughs> <laughs> yo shit definitely is expensive people don't no, understand that half no is a oh, whole yeah. different ticket yeah. oh yeah that's a whole different ball game yeah. yeah and then you don't know what it's gonna do it, yeah, it could have flopped or it could have you know did what it do did what it did you know yeah. what I'm saying so and then uh, I'm just so ready to drop season 2 cause I only progress, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you see me from Temptation, because y'all know I had a web series. If you see me from Temptation shooting off an of iPhone oh, fucking 7. Oh, you was seven, on there. You know, up to oh, now I got on iPhone? Yeah, I was doing my, my wow. um, web series, you know what I'm saying? I, I forgot about your thing. Right. Then coming up to four fucking cameras with boom mics, with wind covers, all yeah. that shit, you know what I'm saying? So I just be loving the growth, so it just only get better. Progress. Yeah. And first of all, like you just said, so many people want say they can't do some shit because they ain't got everything. And I'm telling y'all, if y'all just starting off, y'all not gonna have boom mics. You're y'all not. not gonna have a cameraman, let alone different angles and shit, where you just gotta start and just build from there. Right. But yeah. when you saying Use Hoochie what you Daddies, got. what was your purpose in mind to shine light on? Uh, to give them a kind of outlook, how, how, how we are. Cause mm-hmm. you know, it is a, Stereotype with with uh, I don't even want to like to say studs, but with masculine women. So it's so many different types. Like myself, I'm so different. I say this all the time. Like I'm out of the box, but I also know I'm very masculine. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But at the same time, mm-hmm. I'm still a woman. So mm-hmm. they clash. So I'm mm-hmm. a cheat daddy. You got some long <laughs> ass nails, bro. I do keep them pimping. You Yo, is, that is some pimping ass. I know, shit. and I do. I uh, I keep them. I, I do the maintenance <laughs> on them. What? Them motherfuckers <laughs> is found. Hold up. So you got a motherfucker manicure. You ain't got the little white shit on the side. Motherfucker. I know your next question. Just look. You got one hand with. Whoa. <laughs> she got oh, the two Oh, that's some gay ass shit. That's some gay ass shit. Hold up. Is that. <laughs> hold up. Is that really on purpose? Yeah. Oh. That. <laughs> Not even quick for you. That is some gay ass shit. This is what you call a gay set. <laughs> what? Booty! You Yo. done broke the internet with that one right there. Yo, I'm crying. So those are your real nails? Yes. 
I don't, everything grows so well on me, y'all. It's my toenails and be getting low. First of all, I'm not gonna lie, I do I don't even want to see what your toenails look like. <laughs> don't think well, this I probably, I'm probably about the only person who got a, a full pinky toenail. Like you can draw <laughs> you can draw a whole Picasso like. art on that hoe. Yeah, you can't draw you can shit do. on my face. Yeah, That's y'all, crazy. So, y'all, you can fit somebody's name on my pinky toenail. That baby. Is that long? It's a full peak of time. Talking about that, be a full. Nah, you gotta show us though. I don't even want. To see, you scratching bitches under shit. the sheets. No. Yes, with your toes. No, you gotta keep them clipped. You don't see how high maintenance down here? They not yeah. clipped though. Why you? Why they like not? I'm like saying your set of nails. <laughs> These yeah. Like before you get them painted, they just got done fouling them. That's how your fucking nails look. I don't know if it's because I DJ. My nails break all the time. <laughs> like after a party, like bitch, you ain't even gonna hard break. Okay, well, <laughs> I, what you mean? Right, I am gonna say. Oh my bad. I will say. I will say this. I will say this. And uh, well, I think in 2014, 2015, I did get cut up. You did um, get what? Cut up. I got cut up. She cut me all around my With wrist. a knife? Yeah. Ooh. Big ass knife. Um, so they do also grow so well because I'm right hand dominant. You know what I'm saying? She cut my lig- ligament, tendon, and nerve. I see it. Yeah. So my pinky still look dead. I see it. Mm-hmm. Can we talk about that? Oh. Um, How'd you get cut up? A female? Yeah, yeah. Somebody you was it dating? It was a bad sportsmanship over a basketball game. Over a motherfucking yeah, basketball Yeah, I ain't played basketball since. Really? Really. Hold up, this was like at like the uh, street uh, uh, court or like Yeah, a- I love uh, Pride basketball game. Jacksonville had 18, Tampa had 18, Orlando had 18. I ain't 18. never fucking playing in Jacksonville. <laughs> it was in Orlando. <laughs> oh, fuck that. No, I ain't no, playing no, no, in Orlando. It was in Orlando. And, uh... Actually, my uh, this girl I used to call my sister, they, she was about to fight somebody on their team. And I went up to them and broke them up. And I was like, man, y'all get down the court. We ain't about to fight about no damn basketball game. Right. And I took the ball and went to go in it. So she come way off the bench. She wasn't even in the game and stole me. So, you know, self-defense, that was her first and last lick. <clears throat> it was so many, you know, Jacksonville people there. People started coming out the crowd, you know, fight, you know, I be having people with me, so it's fights breaking out everywhere, but they had to carry her out the gym. What? So we stayed in the gym, they canceled all the game. We stayed in the gym for about a good 10, 15 minutes to let shit blow over. By this time, I'm ready to go. I'm like, man, I, all about some basketball, you know what I'm saying? So we get outside, everybody's still in the parking lot. It's like 100, 150 people in the parking lot. I'm blocked in, I can't leave. So I'm walking up to my car. So she walking up with a couple other people talking about, I want a rematch, I want a rematch. I was like, baby, you just better give it to God. Right. <laughs> that was my first word, I promise you. I was like, give it to God. So on the basketball court, that's when she stabbed you or this, or this in the is, parking lot? Yeah, in the parking lot. Okay. Yeah, so she was, oh, it's, that, that, so when she stole me, that was her first and last lead. It was a rock. Okay, got it you. It was out of the, I'm, my, I'm too quick with it. Like, uh-uh. I don't know if she thought that light skin shit was. I don't know why she chose me. I'm the wrong person to treat her because she could have hit anybody. But yeah. really she found out that day. That was her first and last day. So then so, she went to the car. Yeah, and I'm kind of disappointed myself sometimes because I feel so bad. I should have known she had to go level up. You know what I'm saying? So. I put my shit in my car. I can't go nowhere because everybody out there thinking they, you know, they about to see something. So mm-hmm. I told her, I'm like, give it to God. I took me a little cigarette and I'm about to light my cigarette and she jumped, she jumped on me. So I think we about to fight again. So I go to, uh, everything happened so fast too. Cause as soon as we started boxing, everybody started jumping in to break it up. You know what I'm saying? But I'm still swinging, like we fighting. But then I felt something going in the back of my neck. So then it dawned on me. I was like, oh, this hoe cutting me. Mm. So I broke free myself. And the crazy thing is the police was out there the whole time, y'all. Damn. You know what? What? Yeah, they ain't do girl was worth what? the shit. So I knew I was cutting my neck, so I knew the police was out there. So I ran off and they ran, my friends ran after the girl, and I ran to looking for the police because we, we gotta call some help real quick. Right? Hell <laughs> okay. Yeah. So she ended up uh fleeing the scene, hitting somebody with her car. You know, my friend was jumping on her car trying to break the windows and shit. And she ended up fleeing off and, you know, hitting one of her people with her car. Damn. So then um, they was looking for me. Then I, well, we linked up. I took my smartest friend. <laughs> okay, period. Because <laughs> y'all know y'all I'm, smart. Uh, like, I'm ex-military, so I know oh, med okay. back. So, you done had 10, 15 lives. No, I'm like, <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, I done did a lot of shit. Yeah. I was a school bus driver. Oh, man. okay, period. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Hey, when you said cigarette the day by day after. <laughs> she was giving, you was fucking that, that giving, started, set it off. Queen Latif, you was like. Yeah. 
Bitch, this is gonna be my last time. I'm going out with a fucking fight. <laughs> I, I was kind of over the sound, like, man, I'm gonna hit my cigarette, like, let the bitch hit yeah, whatever she got yeah. to stay out, cause bitch, I'm over it this time. But then, um, I told her, I was like, cause I'm, I'm asking, I'm thinking about my neck. Right. I'm, I'm like, I'm not, that's the only thing I felt was the one in my neck. So I told her, I was like, hey, I need a stick and I need a shirt. We got to turret my, uh, we got to turret my neck off. You got to apply as much pressure as you can to the ambulance gear. So she was like, bitch, Fuck your neck, look at your wrist. Ooh. So then I looked down, I'm talking about shit leaking, leaking, leaking everywhere. So I was like, okay, we need two turds. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then she had um, my, my flavor blood too, because she cut me on my face a little bit too. Damn. But um, I can say everybody was so panicky but me. Yeah, it's it, that you that sound in, a, in a moment, shit don't be hitting. Like, Everything that adrenaline. Everything going in slow motion for me. Yeah. Because you don't feel the pain that yet. That adrenaline. Yeah. yeah. I don't, um, but yeah, everybody was like, everybody was panicking. I don't know. I, I cried when the hospital said, we got to call your your moms or somebody. I was like, oh, Lord. Don't you got to know how to break the door. Let my mama have a heart attack. Thank you so much. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Break, like, go in with I'm okay first or something. You know I what I'm saying? I feel that. <laughs> So, cause don't nobody want to get no calls and say, hey, your baby in the, uh, you know, the emergency room. She just got cut up, stabbed up, you know what I'm saying? So, so you had st stitches, I'm assuming, on your neck? Yeah, stitches on my neck, my underneath my nose, and um, I had nice. to have surgery on my wrist. That's crazy. And was this a stud? Yes. Damn. That sound crazy, bro. Um, shout out to you. Cause, <laughs> and then your basketball oh, career low-key was done after that. Well, um, I was I was already. I mean, I used to love hoop, the hoop, yeah. but I was already, you know, yeah. stop there, stop balling. Just like a tournament type yeah. thing. Okay, yeah. got you. Mm. Let's get back on track real quick because that story Indeed. was traumatic. I don't even know how we got all there. From, all from the nails. <laughs> yeah, did, did, <laughs> did they get jail? locked up or anything? Uh, no. No. For real? Did you know? And you ain't another person. You never. I never. I didn't know this girl from a can of paint. Dang. Like never said nothing to. Like, did nothing to warn her to come way off the bench and hit me. Like, Let me ask one more question. Was she Spanish? No. Because okay. Spanish people love cutting motherfuckers. No, no, no we cut no for shade. the right reason. We don't trip. That's the problem. Y'all don't trip? No, we going to cut you, but we got it's some right reason. reason. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. No. All right. No, 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 no disrespect. No disrespect to my Spanish folks. I just All know right. that y'all love them knives. Yo, people be going out bad. And that's whack as fuck. Yeah. Like over something so petty, a basketball game. And I guarantee you that bitch got a miserable life. I don't know what the fuck she doing, but she got a miserable life. Cause what? I got to. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. May she be blessed. That's yeah. that's all I can I, say. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I I think I been got over. I'm, I'm not really a uh, grievance type of person. If that makes sense, y'all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I just get over shit. Yeah. yeah, I just I don't know. I just don't know no other way but just to keep pushing. Yeah, be, I'd be like, okay, she gonna be alright, you know. Um, mm. Think about other motherfuckers who done had a hard ass life too. You know what I'm saying? I'd mm. be like, life just be life, and I just understand that life gonna life. Life be life. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, nah, I felt that. No Hell shit. Yeah. All right, so um, back to the hooch daddies, and then just for context, what year was it when you thought about the idea? It had to be the end of 2021. Oh, okay. 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 So it's a, it was a fresh idea. Yeah, I, when, I, when I thought of it, I knew I had to hop on it because we are in the age of the reality TV. Yes, we are. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, uh, and then, I don't know, the universe just always got me. So it was just, I was so blessed to be able to even, you know, have a little budget to do something I want to do and then you know, it actually do what it was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. uh, it's what I love to do. It gave a much needed platform. Mm -hmm. um, it's gonna give an even bigger platform, so. Period. Yeah. Progress. 25 million views on you bitches. Yes. <laughs> yes. So how did you come with the name, like, picking that it was gonna be called Hoochie Daddies? And then, like, if you had to describe, what what is a Hoochie Daddy? <laughs> it's definitely a, a masculine presenting woman. Um, and typically, typically Excel. not gonna be wearing acrylic nails or anything like that. Daddy. All right, definitely and not acrylic. scared to be themselves. They know they masculine, but uh, she know it. You know, sometimes can be sassy. But I wouldn't say all of them sassy. That's why. That's why I like the. That's why. I'm hey, gonna... Britt, y'all give me all your. <laughs> you all <okay? laughs> daddy. <laughs> you should have put on season two. <laughs> but also. It's also to showcase the different type of hoochie daddies because right. not all of them are sassy, you know what I'm saying? We got, like, I got Money Montana in season two. She, mm. she kind of, you know, 
straight, solid through, you know what I'm saying? You can tell she wear the strap in a relationship, mm. you know what I'm saying? So uh, it's so many different type of masculine women. We act so different, you know what I'm saying? Some people yeah. like to twerk. And uh, some people don't like to twerk, you know. Just because they like to twerk don't mean they like to, you know, be real twerk. feminine in the bedroom, you know what I'm saying? Just right. different. There's so many different type of labels and how they act, and you get to see it through hoochie daddies. You so know you what highlighting saying? all the masculine. All the masculine. different type of hoochie. Hey, by the way, she a real hoochie daddy because she's the first person on the show that brought out a straw <laughs> when we made her a drink. Okay, period. Okay, I said, listen. Class, she listen, never trashy. Yes, I'm over here being a man and shit. <laughs> okay. And how did you pick the name, like, to be like, this It's going to be called Hoochie Daddies? I was like, yeah, it definitely got to be something catchy, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Definitely something in the, you know, entertainment. That, uh, and I was thinking that way about the theme song, too. Like, mm -hmm. something that's going to stick and resonate with the audience. So, I was like, yeah. I think that I, was perfect time because yeah. Hoochie Daddies was, like, popping off. At yeah, that time, was like, Daddy shorts. Short, short, yeah, short, short, yeah, everything. Yeah. Well, I tell you, don't nobody rock. Put your daddy short, like I can rock because like nah, you said I got Hey, Woody, your fucking shorts. <laughs> I watch short game is crazy. I got oh Bro, God, I got we gotta like, insert multiple pictures right here. Right. Because Woody shorts, <laughs> even in Vegas, your shorts is up here. Yes. My nigga yes. was just out there so confident, so comfortable. I'm like, hey, if you like it, I love it. It's branding. Because them it's shorts was fucking I ain't gonna lie, I think my legs is my favorite okay. aspect about Period. me. Period. Okay. Come on, long legs. <laughs> Brick. Brick got church lady legs, y'all. No, she the don't, fuck I don't. She don't got no ankles. Y'all, she don't got Bro, no ankles. She's she got like thick legs all the way At down. At the end, you gonna show me your pinky. I'm gonna show you my ankles because I okay. definitely got fucking ankles. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. She got thick legs. I you got, ever see somebody that got, got thick got, ankles? Yeah, we got no cankles in Florida. I don't have no fucking cankles. Okay. <laughs> I don't we have cake. Yeah, we <laughs> Booty, don't diagnose me with cake. I already been told I got a mental illness up here today. Where my Ritalin at? I need some Adderall. No, Y'all both control. got uh, illnesses they, by. Uh, I used what? to have to stop by the front office in elementary for this. Shit. Oh, to After get your Adderall? medicine? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, get yeah your my mama get said your I refuse to put you on that shit. It turned into a motherfucker zombie. All right, so I like I really think you broke barriers with this show. You know what I'm saying? And it really just shows that you just jumped out and just executed it when you probably didn't have the biggest budget and stuff. And sometimes people wait for that. Did you fund the whole show, the first show by yourself? Yes. And you, you had savings and all that. Yeah, well, you know, like we was telling you, I've been out here, been yeah. doing shows, been doing hosting. So I was, and, and most people don't know, I still work at nine to five. Mm -hmm. I be yeah. fixing ACs and oh um, shit. That Damn, last summer the, I changed by after eight this, ACs. After this, brother. can you come to my, well, you do uh, electric? <laughs> yeah. All right, yo, because my damn, since I bought what my house, happened? my main bedroom, the light switch went out. Damn, right. this bitch AC didn't went <laughs> out. How much you charge? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Lizard. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah so cool. yeah, I was definitely saving. And uh, like I had uh, mentioned, I sold my uh, Mustang. So I, I saw that post the other day. More money for the uh, production. That's a but commitment, nigga. You that. sold your fucking wheels. Mm -hmm. That is a commitment. And I think a lot of people don't understand that part of it, like what it takes to do something that's independent and the result of it. Because like, how much, would just to get somebody a, a guesstimate of like, how much it takes to actually pull on a full production like this? Because you got the the pre, you got you the during, you got the post production. You want it correctly, or you want to give a nigga I'm trying a to make it on independent budget? <laughs> uh, independent, like what it took you to um, pay and produce? I'm Hoochie saying Daddies. first season, I'm putting between thirty and thirty-five thousand. Okay. See, and you bitches ain't got thirty, thirty-five thousand. All right, right, why you going in on the whole thing? What I don't, what I don't appreciate is like how we be so quick to talk down on yeah. when we're trying to do our own thing. Like, this is not, no, I'm self-funding this. I still work a nine to five. I sold my motherfucking car. Like, we learn and it's gonna get better, but I don't really right. be appreciating when niggas be so quick to like talk down. Cause I'm pretty sure you saw that. So like, right. how did you deal with that? Like seeing niggas with like backlash about the production? Um, I had an OG tell me one time, if you can acknowledge the naysayers, then you can acknowledge all the people who do support you. Mm -hmm. And I was like, ain't enough time. I'm a, I'm a busy woman. Mm -hmm. So um, that definitely affected me. That one comment definitely affected me. It be red, right? right. They say and I'm like, if I do give some energy, and sometimes we human, we do tend to slip and give stuff mm -hmm. energy that mm -hmm. we, it shouldn't. But um, at the same time, 
I take pride in my, my brand and stuff. Y'all know I strive for professionalism. So, mm -hmm. no, you ain't just be around here saying anything. Now, let's be mm -hmm. real. Right. All right. Um, so, I do a good job of Ray Charles to the bullshit. Okay. If anybody be unfazed, I'm like, I like yeah, 25 like, million people. I got a whole. I got a whole. I don't see you. <laughs> I got, so, I got so much business. I got so many people to pay. I got yeah, so much business yeah. to handle. I cannot. I cannot waste no energy there. I try yeah. to be more like Beyonce every day. Come yeah. on now, because Beyonce every would day, never. You know what I'm saying? So, um... I got a whole click of motherfuckers on the West because I don't even know. Make, make videos about me, how much, you know... Uh, like reaction videos? Right. No, nah, just... Just long posts, just talking shit. I seen a few reaction yeah, videos. Yeah, she wore she wore a bikini. Uh, then they'll take a picture of me in a bikini. I be like, bitch, I don't want to post the picture on the internet. You think <laughs> right. I give a fuck? Yeah. You take Ooh, it and repost. So, weird. so what I'm learning, <laughs> even weird. with what we do, and even in the homo show, like, mm -hmm. if they talking, it's good. good. Regardless, all, and all we can't, is, and, and we love, and we put in so much work mm -hmm. that we take it very offensive when you say something because you don't know the half of the shit we had to For do to real. make this make sense. Right. You know what I mean? But the fact that, like, yo. At the end of the day, they posting you. Mm -hmm. We see so many like YouTubers and shit making money off of talking about another person's shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You watch the whole shit to shit on it, and then Judging watch episode two, three, and four. We had we had a few reviews. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So uh, at the end of the day, like you said, that's what we're learning. Well, me personally is like <laughs> I see a whole bunch of comments, and that one comment, you be like, bitch. How did, did you even watch there, the whole episode for yeah. full context? <laughs> yeah, because you know, especially with like clips, my mother would see one minute of a clip, right. not knowing it's a ten and minute conversation. A whole damn and then now, now I just let motherfuckers go back and forth I'm yeah. just, for the most part. But yeah. like people don't even that. understand, especially for a reality show, like how hard it is to get all these different views and to get the audio right like that's hard as hell yeah, I, you hard know, as I, I do all that i make the schedule i the wow. locations oh I, now don't get me wrong i have a team i have an assistant and yeah. I, you know what i'm saying um and that's a lot for one person bro because right. we produce most of every we and we throw parties and, we do this do that we got and, wife, I, buy you girl, and I still work eight four nine and five and that's on what I'm call saying. every other weekend so it's a lot to five, you getting you getting to the money because i ain't gonna oh, yeah. lie a nine to five will help me right now. I just ain't got, I just ain't got the time. I just had at least, <laughs> yeah. I take at least seven fifty. I mean, I was, I was, 750, I was working for my business full time before yeah. before what I'm doing right now. But I made that big investment, yeah. so you know I had to still you know keep paying for things. So yeah, I had you know it got to you know. But you saying? got a vision too, and you know yeah. the bigger the bigger yeah. picture. Facts. Um. Okay. So it's gonna work out. Next is getting on to be hard. Was that your only option? What made you choose Tubi? Um, Tubi. Shout out to Tubi too, man, because I'll be yeah, fucking shout with out to Tubi. People shout be talking out. shit about Tubi too. Shout out to Tubi. And like, I really appreciate Tubi because like, I'm like, I love film, I love series, I love documentaries, so like. She like it because she don't got to pay uh, for, for the, that's <laughs> for the people. Get it's to for it. people. But not, it's like, for remember, people. Yeah. remember movies like uh, Killer Season? Like that's what to be be given. What camera on Killer Season? You ain't never seen. Don't they got about it? it. About it. I know they I got, got the hookup. That's what to be reminds me of. But like I, I really appreciate that shit. So yeah, how did to be come along? Um. Oh, that's a long story, y'all. Okay. Shout out to Tubi. Okay. Um, Not you sold your soul. Hold on, now, Woody. Hold no, on. No. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait it a definitely was. It was that bikini hey, picture. Hold oh, on. That bikini hey. picture came back hey. up. They were like, well, that's you as well? No, well, listen, uh, listen, listen, listen. Nah, it definitely was a challenge. Not that it definitely was a challenge of trying to find a platform to release Who Your Daddy's mm -hmm. on. I, I really searched. Um, I was considering Vimeo, uh, Patreon. Um, but I knew I just wanted to be on on TV. You know what I'm saying? Like right. I, I got great content. I put some hard work into it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So um, I got plugged in with a uh, distributor. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> so got plugged in with the Tubi. So that's how that's how they came about. Um, appreciative because you know too we got over like I think 60 million. You know, um, yeah. you know subscribers. So. It was definitely a good, you know, platform. Yeah. And then it, 
I like the free concept, you know what I'm saying? Because I just want the people we to love watch the free it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's free you know for me. Yeah. I, still benefit, I still benefit off of it, you know, yeah. on the back end, but mm-hmm. yeah. the people get to watch it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They ain't got to worry about if I got the money to watch it because I want the people to watch it, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be, oh, you can't watch it because you ain't got enough money. You right. know what I'm saying? But, it's for the people. So yeah. I kind of like that aspect of it too because I'm still going to get okay. I'm still okay on the back end, how they how they platform works. Facts. Mm-hmm. So, Monetarily wise. So choosing between, because a lot of people drop series on YouTube. What made you choose? What made you go to YouTube? I mean, Tubi first instead of YouTube because both are like free platforms. Is there more money on Tubi or? Uh, I felt like I'm going back to the platform. A lot of people you hear is it's trending too. It's trending a lot yeah. of people. A lot of new, you know, independent. Labels is dropping, you know, content on there. That's yeah. why you allowed to drop your content because, you know, it takes connect and a lot of qualifications to get that Netflix, that Hulu, you know what yeah. I'm saying? That's what I'm aiming for, you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. you're just growing and being on Tube as a TV network and you're just growing. So I want to be on, you know, I'm growing. So really I already got good. stuff no, on YouTube, so let's get some stuff <laughs> stuff on Tube. Let's get some stuff on yeah. TV, more TV. I ain't going to lie, like, just being on that hits different Tubi. than yeah. YouTube. That's more of, like, an official stamp. Like, that's an actual streaming platform, right. like, legit with movies and shit. So did it take you a long time? Because, all right, Concept came up about, you said, 2021. Yes. This came out in 2022 or 23? <coughs> um... First season. 2022. It was 20. Okay. And then, so how long did it take? Like, did you have it already filmed and then you shopped it? Yeah, when it was submitted to Tube, everything was already done. So it was already done. Okay. Everything was already done. So you, your process kind of was was kind of quick, low key, slick. Yeah. Kind of. It, yeah. It'd be. It, it be that like bikini a, picture, wait, it up. Wait, I'm wait, wait. Yeah, it be Expedite like a wait. that shit. It be like a wait <laughs> game. Expedite, get the But line. I, at the I'll same time, you. it is because, like, I still have a few people on the team that they got, like, you know, side jobs, too. So mm-hmm. it's not like we able to, you know, do this 16, 12 hours, you know, a day. So mm-hmm. um, it take, I think the longest process is the edit. Bro, oh, that people don't know that. Yeah, Bro, the, the post production. I said it earlier, like, the yeah. post production be the, the biggest, most yeah. expensive, and longest be- part. Because y'all watched. Let's say, how long are your episodes? Like uh, last uh, season, last season they were uh, around the um, hour mark. Okay, so y'all watched the hour, time. but of how much fucking footage? Pro- be so probably much like footage, bro. probably so much footage. Like whew, a top, whole top, twenty-four cut, hours. Whole production ain't no hoe. <laughs> and then they just gotta keep cutting down because they might have made it into two hours, and it's yes. like yo. Let's just make y'all the pop. so much footage for the casting call. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Did y'all do uh, virtual or in person for the first season casting call? Uh, I had the virtual. virtual. Okay. And then, also, once you put it on Tubi, did you invest any money as far as promotion? Because people don't no, even think about that. That's $25 million organic. Wow. Shout out to y'all. $25 wow. million. Shout that's out to y'all. I not dropped a dime in promotion. That's what's but up. But imagine if you did, though. Yes, right. Cause I mean, no, that's that's huge that you did do yeah. twenty five million. But that's the thing, a lot of people, even artists and shit, they'll think like the budget to make this project is ten thousand. No, that's yeah. just for the to make the project. Now, once you make the project, imagine how shit. much money. Right. But luckily, you build yeah, connections. Man, it's a whole. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. It's even a down lot. right to the captions. Got to, uh, yeah, the captions. no, for real, the little things like yeah. they all add up, bro. But shout out to, to the you. gay community because it is so. Like we yeah. don't have that much. I feel like they promoted it. Even e- either hate or loved it. They we promoted it within ourselves. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So shout out to the gay the oh, gay gee, bees, daddy, okay? the way <laughs> <laughs> And then just to be clear, I know we spoke on it um, earlier about like what the purpose of the show was. But what is the actual like? If you had to say, what's the purpose, the goal of the Hoochie Daddy show? Okay, so everybody got that, you know, that stud. Everybody thinks studs can't be alone or get along. Yeah. So, I you think know, your show proved it. Because huh? <laughs> <laughs> what you about to say? Yeah, come on, get along. They get along. Um, so it's the competition style. See yeah. who the top hoochie daddy mm-hmm. is in, in the house, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, so because that kind of, you know, fit the stereotype everybody's saying, we're going to see who the top hoochie daddy is, who's going to win the most competitions, you know? So what if somebody said hoochie daddies is like baddies? What would you say? I disagree. 
I disagree. What about Bad Girls Club? I disagree. Bad Girls Club. I disagree. Club. Baddies too. is all fighting, but Bad Girls Club, they be having a little competitions in there. Baddies, I ain't seen. I ain't never seen no competition. I, I ain't never seen no competition. So them, I don't think I seen them ride the bull. Yeah, they on Baddies I, or Bad Girls Club. Uh, both. I feel like bad. I feel <laughs> they both ride bulls. <laughs> that's some, that's some gay shit right there. <laughs> <laughs> now I do feel like baddies be about to do a competition, but then they fight before. It's the like a sparring, like a sparring yeah. show. You know, we just here to work out. Yeah, just... um, it, but your show, you do see relationships too form. Like, of course, you do see fights and shit that actually adds to it. Mm. But you see relationships too. Yeah, they definitely got you know a good thing going. Um, but I say my my show is I don't bring them to fight. Mm. If that makes sense. Yeah. But, you know, shit, shit gonna happen. Like, I didn't even know Dyke God and Stud King had knew each other prior mm. to me bringing them on the show. So, they, they had already fought before in real life. Damn. Yeah. So, I, I did not even know that. I was like, and I asked, I was like, y'all gonna be all, you know, all right? Because we can't fuck up these people every week. I'm, you know, I don't stay at the house with them. <laughs> right. So, I was like, well, if I'm gone... <laughs> Right. You hoes ain't gonna get back in your feelings of what y'all had going on back in Baltimore, wherever y'all was at, you know. Yeah. You know, so because like That's motherfuckers not paying for be real. security twenty four seven. No, for the real. Once we start filming with the security, so did you gone. did you expect to see fights and stuff though? When when you first started? Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. I mean, yeah. And you had security on, on that. You know, we we they, we finna, we finna try to be on TV, so you know everybody finna try to pop their shit, you know. Yeah. What I mean? yeah. So yeah, and then. We're finna give them TV. It's reality yeah. TV, you know. At the same time, you gotta be entertaining. I listen to the people. I listen to the crowd. I like to. I be reading some of the comments. Fact. As long as it's organic, though, I think that's the biggest yeah. thing. Like, as long as you that's ain't like, you hey, yo, stick. she said this about you. Hey, right. yo. That's the thing you want to try to stick to organic. Yeah, the reality of it as much mm -hmm. as you can. Yeah. As much mm -hmm. as you can. All right, let's talk about some viral moments that happened on the show. Mm -hmm. All right. So the first one that I saw that I. I, I thought it was fucking hilarious. I can't even fucking lie to you, Woody. You had, not, not you had, all right, but Dyke got sleeping in the damn closet. Was that a budget <laughs> yeah, issue? Yeah, that was a budget issue. <laughs> That was a budget issue. Did y'all overcast though? Because y'all count. Nah, it's supposed to be eight. Cause some of the challenges, <laughs> some of the challenges, supposed to be able to. Hey, be that's what you be like. Yeah. I got an idea. Yeah, that closet would be. I mean, they could. I, Cause could, how many beds was in the house? It was eight. So it was eight beds, oh, eight Oh, well, people. we had to get that. I had to get two of the beds. Okay, so two sold yeah. down to six. I had to redecorate some shit. <laughs> so two of the beds that was supposed to be there ended up not being there because you had to move it around. Yeah, and that's so how I, that it was six beds. I added the two. I had added the uh, one in Moyo and Maya B room and yeah. then the one in the closet. Yo, I and then the air mattress hilarious. too, right? It was, but it wasn't on the on the ground. It was fancy. Yeah, yeah. Now I was on the. I mean, every show be having an air mattress though. Like <laughs> if you look at like fucking um on Zeus, what was that show with Bobby Lights? Like they didn't have or on um, bad on um, bad uh bad boys. They didn't have enough beds neither. So like you might be. Well, on you the know what? I actually. Now that you say that, I actually have experienced this. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so. Oh, this you? Is, <laughs> yeah. This was, this was years ago. Hey, I'm playing on people. First of all, my wife is a little more bougie than me, but she bougie, but she's still down with the shits, right? But I'm more like, bro, as long as I got a place to sleep, let's go have fun. Right. So, I still to this day don't know why I settled. Maybe because I was like the last person to get added on this. But anyway, we went to <laughs> New Orleans and we got um, an Airbnb. Me and my girl definitely blew up an air mattress in the closet. The we were in was, the though, closet. I think it was a one or two bedroom. Remember, everybody didn't have nowhere to sleep. I was in a bed with two other people. Somebody was, in, was in the a, living room. Somebody was in the living room. I think we booked a one bedroom Airbnb and had like budget. seven niggas. We was on the budget. Shit. We went to Mardi Gras. We was outside. We went to Mardi Gras. But well, that's a wheel. But, but I'm that's telling you. Okay. But I'm telling you. We Shout got that guy for, for holding it down though. You we know got it in on that she fucking got an closet. Point towards the competition for it. I yeah, nah, down. that's a good sportsmanship yeah. shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? You like, yo, I ain't tripping. I'll take the closet. Like, hey, I, I respect that. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. But she had a dose. She had privacy. She wasn't even that big. That was like the perfect size for her. Right. She yeah. That that big. Got in there. <laughs> we thought with that guy That's our G, man. Why it really ain't a lot of tall studs. What y'all think about that? Well, well, 
because yeah. the average size for a woman is five three five five. Y'all are above Hold the, up, the average. Hold up, the fact that you know the, the Let's talk about it. Five three five. Y'all are above the average, so How that's tall are why you? studs I'm ain't six tall. Foot even. Exactly, nigga. That ain't I'm five normal. nine. That's not normal. Y'all are tall are ass women. I'm average size. I'm five three and three fourths, bitch. Five three, bitch. You at and the lower end. That's no, not normal because you know we used to be giants. Y'all are not normal. No, I'm closer no to way. giant. Yeah, we used to be. Yeah, it was more. Y'all are average. Everything was bigger. Five three is the average size for a woman. Hey, she tried down us. Yeah. Uh-oh. Y'all different. Y'all ball players. God was confused when he made you. He was like, ah. He's confused he made you. Y'all couldn't pick whether it's a female or a male. He's like, fuck it. I'm going to put both. Do you ever stuff. find your height challenging? <laughs> <laughs> baby, baby, can you get that for me? Yeah, when it comes to certain shelves, like, right. I definitely got to call right. my girl. Shelves is crazy. <laughs> Bitch, you ain't got a stepping stool? Right. Nah, I don't care. Spiders. I hop on the counter. If I go to your house and I see you step over on a stool, bitch, I'm not gonna let that. I would down. never. I would, I want to get like a little. <laughs> the stud, the stud, the stud, you won't allow you to I do want it. A, a but. little electric joint. Look, eh. Yeah, she really. Watch when I get up. Y'all gonna see me in that bitch. All right, another one. Crazy. Before the show even came out, y'all went viral for the Britney Griner. Yo, this is what Britney Griner gives me my thank you. She shouted you out? No. Oh. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about. Maybe she didn't see it. Cause we she was locked up and shit. Like yeah, that. we're the reason. we the reason why everybody got to shine a light on that topic. I thought you was gonna say she. You the reason why she, she got, got it. Yeah, that's I was like, how I'm gonna say that. That too. That too. Yeah. So let's talk thing, about that. Ain't so bad, no but. Y'all was dead. Y'all was <laughs> dead that serious. That one for the culture. That one for the culture. I know you seen it cause it was so many tags and went so viral cause it we did. was so offbeat. <laughs> it. it was I crazy. Know, yeah, I ain't gonna hold I you. I know. I know you seen the tags. So I um respectfully sis. Everybody kept tagging me in. You know what I can't stand? It's when straight people tag me in anything that's gay. And I be like, why? I'm like, what? What? Because I can't send us every gay anything post. Anything that's gay, niggas tag me in. So I got tagged in that video so many times by like straight people. <laughs> I'm like, why y'all keep tagging me in the video? I but you talk about the concept, it. like how y'all came up with it. <laughs> Is it really support? Right, I'm gonna no. start tagging you on straight dumb right, shit. Right. Exactly. <laughs> if I tag you in every straight post, you gonna be like, "Fuck you won't like." And we can talk about that video. Um, <laughs> it was your idea, Woody. It was definitely my idea to do something for Britney Griner. Okay. But n- not that song. And <laughs> what was the song? <laughs> I've been walking. <laughs> Yo, I right. Hey, when my face turned to <laughs> y'all want that to. A, oh, I don't know. I don't know if it was the song. <laughs> they want that to a Nino Brie, spiritual. Brie, I thought we wanted to free her. She shouldn't have got locked up over TAC pen vape, whatever know. it was. It, it was fair. y'all was keeping her because y'all felt she had status in the US of A. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. damn, but that is how you say it, though. Yeah. US of A. Yeah. That's that, mili- that yeah. military background. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, but just talk about it like, all right, so did y'all um, expect it was a part of a challenge, though, in the show, but then y'all put it out before the show came out? No, like, it's an experience with the girls being in the house, and so we get a lot of of the BTS footage. So, okay. you know, I definitely want to, every chance I get, promote the girls. So mm-hmm. I, we be just thinking of content to do, just to, you know, put out there. So um, I knew if something was going to go viral. I just, you know, ain't know that was going to go viral. Yeah, was the so I definitely remember the clip, but I didn't know until you said that that was all the hoochie daddies. So that's crazy that you, like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm weak, but not. Yes, yes. Oh, I was taking a meal. I had to change. <laughs> yeah, it was the change. It was the change. change. On the light skin and person, then the though. The light skin tall. Like, you mama. know you're the kitchen slave. Like, you would never be in the clanks. I'm not going to say people that. Ask me. <laughs> Are you pretty right? Uh, you, <laughs> you, you, you look like that. You're a pretty right. That was. Like, the, I'm like, like y'all no, do favor like each other because I'm older. Y'all okay. do favor <laughs> each other a little bit. Yeah, I, I think y'all that's tall, light skin. That's what it is. Not, right, I just say because she ain't even got locks no more. Oh yeah, she cut she it. She don't. She don't. She got the fade with the curl. And yeah. her voice so deep. Hey, my eyes deep. But it nah, ain't it ain't Britney Griner. It ain't Britney Griner deep. deep. Uh, but my shit get deep. I the first time I heard Brit talk, away. I was like, damn. I Brit, you know, <laughs> that's your twin. BG, I'm like, oh, yeah. No shade. I was just, yeah. I didn't expect that. Yeah, me neither. No shade. I ain't gonna we we'll love you to come up here though, Britney yeah, Griner. Yeah, right. thanks. But um, not your child. Okay, I see what you did there. Um, <laughs> it was that. Hey, like I said before, with viral content, either backlash or. Uh, 
you know, I think when it's good content, people really hate it and people really love it. That's yeah. when you got something yeah, great. So many comments on it, man. It was a. Uh... Oh no, that bitch did what it's supposed to do. Right. <laughs> All right, so another viral moment. You had a goddamn challenge for a tattoo. Yes. Let's talk about this challenge. Whose idea was it to make this a challenge Mine. for <laughs> niggas to get the Hoochie Daddy's tattoo? My Aquarius brain. Okay, period. Aquarius. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I asked you to come up with all the challenges you guys. Yeah. Yes. And then if they got it on like they face, uh -huh, uh -huh. that's crazy. It was. <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie, I didn't see who actually got it. So did anybody actually get the tattoo? Yeah, everybody got it on their so, face or head. For real? Yep. Season Even the one. person that had no tattoos? Yep. Season one. She got it on her face. On her head. On yeah. her head. On the back of her head. You know what you're doing. Be, be, give me Teddy. I, I got a prize for you. You'll see once you get me Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> It depends tatted. where you get me tatted. I'll tell you. Everybody, Everybody got has it. a little tattoo, though. It's small, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. raw, it's raw, raw concept. That's different. I ain't going to yeah. hold you. And then somebody, I seen, I seen somebody was like, yo, that was epic, but it low key seemed illegal because it was like, first they had to do Casamigo, uh, Casamigo shots. Oh, yeah. And then get tatted. That's that was your idea? Drink. Yeah. It was, it was <laughs> like a simultaneous thing it yeah. was going on at the same time so in between you know switching the person to go get their tattoos you know was taking shots seeing who could last the longest and why well, them hoes lasted <laughs> how many shots was the most 12 shots and those were some big ass shot glasses i had 12 made. shots they took 12 shots Per Who that? stud, per hoochie daddy. <laughs> per hoochie daddy. Yeah, get it yeah. right. I mean, you seen the ones who tapped out with uh, 12 Damn. shots. The ones who I'll stayed. be on my it was, like, it was like four or five who made it all to the end of 12 shots in, baby. Yeah. See, I probably would do some dumb shit just because I'm in, a, in the that. moment yeah, type motherfucker. Shots, the next day, I'll be like. I'm competitive. So I feel what you're saying. Like when you say it's a competition, like niggas is out here to compete. You yeah. feel me? So did they actually go on a trip? Yes. They did. Was that recorded? Which one? Who won? You talking about the winner? Stud King? Yeah, Stud King. Did she uh, actually go on a trip? I don't know. She she recorded it, but yes. She oh, okay. Got her, she got out of Jamaica. Okay. Damn, All right, I'm so can we Jamaica. can we talk about the the backlash part, the not so good part? Let's get into Since it. Since you just mentioned Stud King, can we start there? Let's get into it. Oh. All right. Nah, we got to talk about it. Let's, 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 I mean, it's I know what you. I know what to say. Uh, I mean, okay. It's up it to ain't you. really much to mention on, but if we got I want to see the I want to hear the question. When you cast members, they're signing a form, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Are they getting any money from being on your show? Oh, they get a lot of benefits, but to start off for season 1 with the budget it was everything on pay for. You come, push yourself, you see the dream, you see it gonna be Which makes opportunity sense. to make money, but they play the play, you know, do the right thing. So, yeah. so far, yeah, how they made money off the Hoochie Daddy name, yeah. And that's a fact. disclaimer too, because we know niggas that was on Bad Girls Club yeah. who had, well, she said she was getting five hundred dollars a, a a stipend, just like, like for but very food small to pay though. You feel yeah. me? So like, oh, they came to a house stop. Full of food. Yeah, so like stipends is to help you get through the times when you're like just working. Right, yeah. The niggas not right. really getting paid. Yeah, period, even and, on a big shit. And people, I could say, not even outside of your show, like people would die to be on Love and Hip Hop and stuff. They're not thinking about the money. They're thinking about. Hey, the money you can make because of being right. having this exposure, exposure you know, your brand. network right. to boost yourself. Okay, you correct. So it's I think a seed in a dream. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think um, you and Stud King had like a back and forth that basically screenshots was put out there that you said we're going to give you a bonus if the show does good. That was Stud King. Oh, who was it? That was that was um. You you had you you text somebody. Let me go. It was Dyke yeah. God and it was move. I don't know. I think the only thing I got to say on the top of it, I did. I fulfilled my end of the contract and plus more. Okay. So. Moyo. Okay. To make like a long story short. Dyke God. Did you tell people that they would get a bonus if the show does good? Yeah, when I first released it on Patreon, I said, hey, if we get this many subscribers, of course, if I get some serious money, why not look out for uh, we be we pushing it, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But that wasn't the case. That wasn't what happened. Y'all drop the ball and stop believing in yourself. 
Mm. Pretty much. I fulfill my end of contract plus more. Right. And I stand on everything I do. Right. Because my bank account don't lie. Right. For so, sure. and, and the crazy thing is we do see, like, so when it's crazy because you promote 25 million and people essentially, like, just be like, you made you got twenty five million dollars. You like, made right? bank. I think you got twenty five million dollars yeah, versus twenty five million views. Exactly. Right. Yeah, I was watching the nigga pocket. Yeah. And plus, read the contract. Shit. So do you regret saying I'll give y'all a bonus? Cause I could see. No, cause if they if they would have pushed they saying we got got the people. Yep. Oh. Yeah. So you don't think your bonus is based off of subscribers? No, my whole team get paid. Everybody yeah. get paid around me. Nothing but. Anybody who fuck with me just just benefit, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. no, they, if, if they would have did their end of the deal, well, it, 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 it ain't happening. So what was the end of the deal though? Pushing pushing the Patreon. Oh, so the, the Patreon. Yeah, that's why if I you get a certain amount of subscribers, had, right? And when I released it, it went first on Tubi. Oh, it was God on Patreon man. first. I got like not even 500 subscribers. That went. Got it. So that's yeah. what was missed in the translation, right? On right. social the, the, media, then you don't know. You, I don't think they know. Profit don't come out the. Uh, so you the pay, the the, yeah. the cost being made. Yeah, you know what I'm exactly. it, ain't, it ain't a exactly. it ain't a revenue exactly. until exactly. shit being paid. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. That's what people get messed up, <laughs> right? So even this is a, business, this, this is a side note, but like even for Pride, let's say yeah. we're we're booking a huge person, right? And the venue packs out a thousand people, y'all. There, we literally people have people. We out here eating. We literally have people counting heads and saying y'all made this much. First of all, you don't know. How who we let in as costs. an influencer? You don't know how much we pay for the venue. You don't right. know if we paid the for these costs right. for these cost f***ing couches, these up, couches bro. that you ain't yeah. even see. The flyers you got to make. Come on now. Yeah, people so people don't understand the business yeah. part of it. So I get what you're saying. Like the graphics as as, like, you got to buy, the your... websites you got to maintain, yeah. the trademarks you got to buy, the copyrights you got to do, up, captions you got to buy. Audio crazy. you got to buy, yeah. editor you got to. So thank you for sending those ten subscribers. But since that ain't that ain't right. covered nothing for So real. did you talk to them like and really or have you been able to sit down and just explain like yo this is what it is? We, we, we're trying to just make shit cope aesthetic and try to get them to understand the business side more of it. Yeah, I've tried I've tried. Sometimes you just got to uh, wash your hands or thing, cause ain't nothing gonna stop my dream, you know what I'm saying? I gotta yeah. I gotta be a mighty big dream that sometimes scares me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I um, love it. And I got so many People around me that I've been working with for years, and we ain't never had no table, you know, no problem. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Then I'm just so positive. I, I'm so firm on what I do, cause everything I do is genuine. I'm, I don't do nothing but try to benefit people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I don't feel no type of way. Yeah. I'm just no discernment. You know what I'm saying? I'm still wishing them blessings. Yeah. I I had a whole idea to bring them back for season two, just still trying to get them out in the spotlight. But mm -hmm. the for when left. And that's kind of unfortunate for the people who is still rocking. Mm. Yeah. You know, the thing is, like, and this is not towards them directly, but some people don't see the bigger picture. You get what I'm saying? Like, we got hell, we got 25 million views. If I had a motherfucking 25 million views, I'd be in every club, I'd be in every da da da. I would be really, like, trying to use that to boost my brand. But some people, they just look at the, the smaller picture. Some people would rather have. Five hundred dollars set fee versus having equity in something that's gonna go into da 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 da. But I had to learn that too. Like we go through it a lot. People yeah. like you just said, like niggas see what we got going on. How many people come out, but they don't know the behind the scenes shit, right. and they don't see the bigger picture at the end of the day. So I I definitely get it, bro. Yeah, and I do have a question outside of that. Like just for the type of show that you do, it's crazy because I just watched Jason Jason Lee and um, New York. Where her name is Tiffany, that was uh, with uh, Flavor oh, yeah, Flav. Yeah, yeah, Tiffany yeah. Pollard. Okay, yeah. yeah. The so, real HBIC. Okay. <laughs> they were I love saying. Flavor, Flavor. <laughs> I love yeah, yeah. New York. <laughs> hey, I so, fuck with New York. It's crazy because she was saying how, like, there wasn't no residual, residuals. Mm. Residuals. Residuals. Mm -hmm. And I'm a little. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of the shots? No, no, no. Oh, no, okay. we got a party fault. tonight. But I could tell That's I said later. that wrong. All right, all right, not too much, not okay. too much. All right, so um, she was saying how there wasn't no money in those reruns and everything. Is there anything that you would consider doing moving forward? Or I also see the potential in just being a 
being a part of the cast and, and making your money on the back end. H oh. and E stocks, my bad. Yeah, I have a, I have a lot of plans. I'm just it's just with getting up. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm getting up. You know, Facts. I'm still independent, still uh, paying for shit. You know, I'm my own my own pocket. You know, it's uh, yeah. it got to make sense. You know, I yeah. got a uh, a whole team. You know what I'm saying? Um, even everybody's security got to eat. You know what I'm saying? So Correct. it's a lot. And Correct. learning how you go too, because there's a there's so much shit that you just right. you would never know. Bro, right. I get still it. A learning lesson at, uh, for me yeah. as well. I'm learning every day. I tell everybody I'm ever learning. I ain't never gonna stop learning. Yeah, you know I had so, a um I had a dating show, and I did not expect that shit to cost that much. And we did like the bare minimum, but we still spent at least right. like five racks. You feel me? And I'm not getting any of this money back. You feel me? Right. So. I definitely get it. Um, we support what you got going on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I and I just wish the community could really just all the little. It be it be sometimes it be about money, sometimes it be about girls. It be about petty shit. And I wish that we could really get out of our own way because our community really deserves way more like attention in different brands and foundations that we really should be having out here on our own. But if we don't come together. We not gonna have like how these other people got these conglomerates and shit out here. Right, I get right. that, we but we all be falling out about petty shit. Majority of the time, fall yeah, out. even about, straight right, people. Think about having a state with studio studios on there, where you know people come, they need an office setting, or they need a hospital setting, or they yeah. need a jail setting. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm thinking that be Warner Brother be. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. And I feel like the <clears> just the <throat> like the gay content though. Yeah. I don't feel like we have a solid ground for usually when it's gay content, it's people that's not gay that's putting the content out. You get what I'm saying? Like anything that's gone big, orange is new black, the yeah. L word, like that's not that's not us. You feel me? When we have our own stories that we want to also be heard. And yeah. so I'm saying like from that aspect, if we can all just put it together for a little second, let it grow. This shit gonna be big, so keep doing you, bro. I say you, just you keep a professional keep hat. Keep some shorts on. Hat. No, no, no. no, no. Bring the bikini yeah, yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. But look, oh. but look. <laughs> as long as people are signing off on stuff, like I feel like there's backlash everywhere. You know what I'm That's saying? A fact. I do feel like some people wouldn't be responding. How you be responding? I feel like. Yo, you the CEO of this shit. Sometimes you don't gotta say. Y'all bitches is tripping. But you know you're what human I'm too at the same time. You are time, human. So and, and you know and you probably it, got relationships at with the these people. At the same time, and I say, y'all know how many times, you know, people go live. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, There's a lot like, more you like, could I'm, say, right, but right. you don't. Like, you know I'm I'm I get it, like, bro. We be in the same day, position, you know bro. So, like, we just spare like, somebody. I, we were just spare saying, some stuff don't deserve the energy. You we know what I'm saying? I don't know. Nah, I feel that. I know. My intentions be being the best to everybody at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, well, everything great you gonna get trials and tribulations. Like oh, you, yeah. not oh, everybody's yeah. gonna be happy. That's Never. why it's called the journey. Yup, mm -hmm. fact. Yeah, yeah. And you just and be I'm, flowing I'm through. You see it. so, you see so chill. Like you see the Aquarius. Yeah. We ain't worried about nothing, nigga. We know what? we got this shit in the bag. All right. What did you talk about, little cancer ass? Nigga? It kind of be feeling What's like it, it feel like you My know this like destiny. Like people don't know what. What I be going through, yeah, yeah. like for real, like walking to the store, you know what I'm saying? Like nigga had been thugging it, like just in November on my deathbed, but get back three days later, back to work, back Why? to promoting. Yeah. Uh, Damn, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm I'm one of them. You just said you was on your deathbed. That's yeah, deep. yeah, I'm on the deathbed, but get back up. Yeah. And, Get back at it, you know what I'm saying? And I think don't let I don't let it fuck up my mental, you know what I'm saying? Although like you saying I got so much positivity coming at me, then I got so much negativity coming at me, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like and then I got a team I gotta hold now. It's yeah. a lot of weight it's a that lot. I care. You know what I'm saying? I'm and you trying to please care. everybody, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm a yeah. care And at the same time, everybody do respect. I don't know disrespect nobody. Facts. Mm -hmm. You got to give respect. I never heard nothing you. bad about you. Right. I, I never heard nothing bad about you. I just be chilling. I be yeah. transparent. And you always been be like, when we around you, right, our be energy, it's be, it be good. Right. I be yeah. transparent and fuck. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So they know it's like a squid pro quo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? I'm give you a platform. Let's do this shit. Yeah. Let's mm -hmm. see this shit. Let's push this shit. It's it's all. I just want you to know it's always going to be some shit. Yeah. So just, shit. just keep that in mind. And I think everything, you don't got to address if somebody signed this, it's I think it's in our nature. Like even just motherfuckers that where name. we where we can't nah, but even where like where we came from is kinda like 
we need to tell you why I didn't do you wrong or why you broke this contract. But right. these bosses, they not even replying to you because you know what you did. Hey, if it's really a problem, sue me. But they could never sue you because they know what the fuck they signed and shit. But on a lighter note, because I don't want right. to end on no drama and no right. shit like that. <laughs> I mean, we're not ending yet, but we ain't done I, yet. yeah, we're okay. not done yet. But is there going to be a season one reunion? Um, I seen you mention something. I don't know. I don't know. I <laughs> hey, don't know. if 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 what is it? Baddies was it baddies? With Natalie? Yeah. Hey, if they did, if Joss and Cabaret and they did a <laughs> fucking reunion, you could do one because yeah. I don't even think I seen nothing reunion about what the f they had going on. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I I don't know. I'm kind of all for it because you know I love to push the girl. I love to put a push my thing. Everybody, especially everybody, wants it. So on um, the company, we have been talking about it, but. Yeah. I'm just saying I don't know. Okay. I'm just saying I don't know. It'll be interesting. It would, it would. All right, so just in general for season two, like what are the expectations? Like what can uh, the fans, the viewers, what can they expect on season I two? I know it's going to be I can say everything has upgraded from season, just season two. That's what's up. I can honestly say everything from the cameras to the mics to the – House to you uh, got more beds? Yes. Okay, <laughs> ah! Yes, sir. No, I want to see at least one or two air matches. I ain't gonna lie. Don't make it real good. Right, at least good. one or two air matches. You know what I'm saying? Fight for it. Yes. Yeah, come on now. <laughs> um, season two, with Houston, Texas. Oh, okay. Oh, that's. Such well, I thought it was stuff. in Atlanta. Uh, no, I just did casting calls in Atlanta. Oh. Yeah, so you already recorded or no? Cut. It's in post production. Okay. okay. So it's in Houston, I'm Texas. I'm, I'm That's lit. It was. I'm ready. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was snap. We snap. Is this one coming on Tubi or is you gonna do it on YouTube? I'm missing for Tubi. I'm okay, cool. For Tubi. But and, I think it would drop on on YouTube first. Okay, cool. And with so much success from the first one, have you gained any investors, or are you still doing 100 percent independent? Oh, um, in house. Why? In house. In -house. Why? I got it in house, in house. Okay, just but because yeah. of in house, even giving percentage and shit. Like, I mean, if you could take care of it, why not do it yourself? Um, I work hard, you know Facts. what I'm saying. So, uh, like you ain't I mean, need we, nobody. We had a few, like we had sponsor, uh, okay. everything aligned. Gotcha. Um, but for the most part, I'm gonna say uh, ninety percent all me. I'm, I can't say that much for season two. Ninety percent. Okay. Um, I don't know. You know, get a down production is growing as a business. Yeah. You know, we get into that ballpark. You know what I'm saying? Um, she got money. She got money. <laughs> <laughs> it's stupid as hell. AC. Got, got. She even fixed up AC. <laughs> Twenty five million. <laughs> hey. Hey. I'll try to tell you. I be, I be work. I be working, and then I hell still yeah. I get my money from doing my show. You know my show. So hell yeah. I you still stripping on the side too? Keep it a hundred though. No, I, I see them legs out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Hey, I'll be stripping well, no. if I was you. Shit, I'll run that shit up. You know, you know, hosting. She got church lady legs, so she can't really strip that. Right, she gonna quit trying me. I don't have no oh. fucking church lady legs. So, look, when you are, do you have any rollout for this one? Or are you just dropping it? Uh, I don't have a drop date. Okay. Just yet. I don't have a drop if there's date just yet. if there's any way we can help you, even if you wanted to do like an early premiere of the first episode or something like we we'll be have down a party? yeah 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 we can talk behind the scenes and set it up yeah hell for yeah. sure like girls down here. yeah yeah okay yeah. um even yeah. you know you want to bring your cats to no homo show we can lay y'all out right we'll to put y'all on some couches yeah. so i make yeah, sure okay, everybody okay. got a seat yeah that's sure. how lit too yeah that'll be dope as fuck yeah. yeah. so people girls. been asking <laughs> about the hoochie daddy for a long time like coming on the show like they've been asking for y'all mm -hmm. for a minute right. like so they really support y'all so. I know I've been ready for this. this is my first interview. Yeah, so we appreciate like, it. Yeah. <laughs> this lit. Yeah, we fuck yeah. with it. Season two on the motherfucking way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we gonna get into um goddess from the gay guys, but just for the people that's watching, just last question. Okay. Are you single? Taking it's complicated. What is Woody's current status? Look at that hair, light skin. What tall. is Woody's? She current? got money. Are you blushing? That means she got a bed. Do she? Oh, she got a bed. <laughs> yeah, because she do got them fingernails. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what <laughs> Hold on, 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 hold
hilarious. She in love. Like no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at I, it. Am, I never seen a I black mean, person turn I'm red. Like, I, like that. I am. I am. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I am. It's complicated. Like you know that you know that little saying they be like I'm in the shopping cart about to get checked out but like I'm not well, in the shopping cart. I never. I never I'm not, that. But I, 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 I got what it means. Shopping cart, it's like they on the aisle and yeah. I'm on the shelf and she looking at me on the shelf, <laughs> contemplating to put me in the shopping cart and they can check out. Yeah. So it's okay, her. I ain't never heard that I analogy, but I like that. She, I understand she, it. She just thought of uh, that shit. I know. I'm, uh, I'm <laughs> Look at her like. I'm hey, single. Hey, hey, right. you ain't right. nervous. I'm single, I'm single dating. Yes. Right. So you got you got an interest. I'm single day is. I'm single day is. Okay. <laughs> On that note, what will it be? What does it take to get to the relationship? To lock down a hoochie daddy. Look at, look at it. Look at it. Look at this drink. <laughs> look. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, I do kind of be just so busy. I'm kind of not in that era of my life. Mm-hmm. So even it's not a want of my like a relationship like right now like. I mean, yeah, I ain't really got nobody to celebrate like the good times with. You know, yeah. I go to the house and like just talk to it at the end of the day, but at the same time, I'm kinda not be available in the head. Like in the head, so I be on it, I be busy. So mm, I feel like I would kinda shit them in that kind of department. Like I get it. Yeah. You gotta have somebody that's built for it. Yeah, that's real as fuck, because that's still my struggle. And I'll be Me like, too. it's so hard to explain to somebody that you're tracing a dream and you can't be a regular motherfucker right. to do great things. That balance be hard. It's right? so hard. And and I, we don't get off technically. We make our own schedule. What? So it's the not days, like I clock in and I clock out. It's like I'm always clocked right. in. And the days that you have available, that's when you can get some shit some done. Work catch done. up on some shit. <laughs> and then when you ain't doing that and you're beating yourself up. I yes. And anyway, I'm just always on it, so mm-hmm. I, I get think, it. You know, your red went away a little bit too. Right, right. You got comfortable. Well, y'all single, <laughs> single, single day. And that's gonna be my final answer. Word. All day. right, Cupid. <laughs> y'all know you born on Valentine's Day. You know, I've been single. You know, I, y'all know I have been single for oh, the longest. I, yep. I do not play. I do not play. You said you have been single. Yeah, I have been single for the longest. When so was I, your I last just, last like, relationship? Huh? When was your last <laughs> relationship? <Huh>? <laughs> <laughs> Well, like a year and a half ago. Oh, but she said the, the longest. longest. Yeah, lesbian time, lesbian time. Lesbian, lesbian time. But no, like it was one of them relationships, you know how like. She said, baby, who's your daddy about to bro. drop? And like, uh-huh. yeah, been, it's been over. Like we hadn't slept with each other like last two years of the relationship. Like, yeah, oh, been, oh like, so it was over before right, it was over. Right, yeah, you know, one of them joints. He's just comfortable. Like it would be I been over, so. Got it. Yeah, I feel I mean, you. Been, been. <laughs> yeah, it do be like when you're on your way up and you feel it, yeah. a part of you wants to use all your time for yourself but then a part of you wants somebody there before you get to where you know yeah, you're after going. that you can't trust them hoes you want somebody that was you know there with you from the start well, yeah fucking yacht them, you heard but okay this we was respect dope. it yo you see where we at? yo we are at starship right now y'all listen they have anything you need for inside the bedroom plus more stuff you can't even think about Make sure y'all go to the website. Yes, yes, y'all get 15% off with our code No Homo Show at shopstarship.com. No Homo Show, shopstarship.com. Go run it up, y'all. Listen, if you're in Atlanta, stop by their store because it's crazy. But if you're not, online got everything too, plus more for real. Yeah, I'm about to grab me something to go. Let's up real quick because y'all know. So we're going to go into guidance with the gay guys. This is our last little segment where um, some of our viewers write us in, write into us. Mm-hmm. Sorry, y'all. Mm-hmm. Look, I was drinking vodka and then this bitch walked around nah, she, not for tequila nothing. into she my She probably cup. is fucked up because she definitely did mix her I, liquor. And then we had like her. this much Sprite, so it was really drinking more Take shots. A shot. Okay. All right. So they write into us and ask us for guidance all right so we're going to need your guidance expertise on this okay (laughs) they actually wrote two questions i'm gonna start off with the first one why do studs feel like when a woman is bi or have (laughs) kids they still want to fuck with them like shouldn't we only be fucking with lesbians i feel like eating pussy where dick was just that is nasty a viewer said this what do you think? I kind of happen to agree. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of happen to agree. Um, 
I don't prefer <laughs> correct. A bi- <laughs> I don't prefer a bisexual woman because that means she like both. So it's gonna <laughs> always be something I can't naturally give you. You know what I'm saying? That you're gonna be yearning for eventually. Um, and that I think those are the more type of. No, I ain't even gonna say that because you know it be some <laughs> lesbians. They be gay for 20 years and then later be like, oh, I got to get my life right with the Lord and go back straight and stuff. Oh, that hurts my heart. Yeah. If when you, you bring that, God into this, I can't even that, argue I'll with you. Like, you'll like, you be like, call me Tiffany. I'll if I, like, if yeah. I was turning. Like, if you like found the Lord Nah, or still call me Excel. <laughs> Hold up. First of all, I got the Lord in my life. I mean, <laughs> like, what is the go I back got straight or whatever? Life. I'll be like, what? You know what I hate? Like, this is DJ side Tiffany. note. <laughs> this is DJ a, and sh- you going dresses. hard, you Amish, <laughs> bitch. I'm not Amish. What the fuck? She weird. She weird, y'all. Anyway, we gonna let oh, her. <laughs> we gonna let her have it. When somebody cover their mouth to laugh, just let them have it. All right. So oh, anyway, I call you Amish. Then, That's funny. Y'all know. Uh, I be like, you know, men. They are blessed to not really give up. Fuck who they sexual partners are sometimes. So yeah, they don't have that emotional That's a high connection. Risk. I feel like you know, bisexual is a high risk. Mm. Um, and not that you should have caution with everybody you do something with, but they are on the higher end. It's level, like it's levels. <laughs> so when you say that, I feel that. So we have interviewed people because I felt the same way you felt. We have interviewed bisexual people that was like, you know, um, if I'm with a girl, I'm not desiring a man. If I cheat on her with a man, that's just because I'm a cheater, period. Not because that. I don't know. I would never know how it feels to be bisexual because I never <laughs> missed your mark. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know if you are you could be with a woman and in love and desire a man. You know what I mean? But me as a stud, I always did feel like if you were bisexual, I could treat you amazing. But if that's what you want, that's the one thing I can't do. Now, right, right. if it if it was between me and another stud, and you was like work on this, bitch, I could work on that. But goddamn it, <laughs> I ain't never gonna be no man, right. and I don't even want to feel like I need to try to be. Yeah. Right. But when you just said that's a risk, even sexually, because we are carpet munchers. That's the munchers. biggest part. Yeah. Right. Right. We eat pussy, and we don't. I'm sorry, we don't eat it with the diaphragm. We <laughs> don't. Right. We don't put this around. Right yeah, <laughs> like we want some pussy. I wish I would go grab some fucking saran wrap when I'm about to get somebody's so, head. So Booty that ball. is really. Yeah, it goes deeper. It's not just the surface level. Like, so it's not just like we don't date bisexual women because they might be having sex with men. It's like the risk that comes with that. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. and are you telling me you having sex with men? Are you having protected sex? Like, I think it's like way deeper than just mm-hmm. like. How they saying it? It sounds crazy how they saying it, but if I had to imagine what they really meant, it would be like this. Cause I don't want right. to. I don't want to. Of course, I'm married. My girl is but- bisexual, so I used to ask her like, I had to learn on the show to talk me. I'm Damn, like, Brit. how you bisexual? You going but you out with bad. Me. It's like not Brit. So I like, I, like <laughs> I used to be confused, but they like, yo, just because. I'm with you. Don't mean that just cancels out my bisexualism. Is that a word? Just like if a straight woman is with a man. But I can't, I don't, it is hard to understand because, and it's hard to understand a lot of shit within this community, right? If, if you can't relate, but it is hard to understand how you could be bisexual and be 100% happy with a female and not miss nothing of something else you like. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but that ain't my, that's like, that ain't my that's fight That's just to like, have. why are you thinking that deep though? That's kind of like borderline insecurity. Uh, you tried it. No, it's mm-hmm. not. That is, if you sit here think thinking so. the worst, like, if you're a bi, that means I'm going to think why you, I can never compete with a man. I I don't think that's like, mm. I think no. that's like a little like no, insecurity. Why you worry about it's your not. competition? It could be a bitch you competing with. Why you automatically going yeah, to Yeah, I feel man? that. I feel that. But it is like. Because it's real dick. No, it's not even, dick. it's not even dick. It's not even sex. That's the crazy thing. Chester. Relationship with men is not just sex. There's other things and I wouldn't know about them, but there's other no, things. No, I'm saying what would make a person I don't know. That that's why I said that ain't my argument to have, but I'm saying it is crazy like I don't know, cause I stop at the L in LGBT anyway. <laughs> so Okay, you so don't even like that, ne- next question. This is gonna be quick, all right. All right. When we are eating pussy, our eyes are open or closed? Are your eyes open or closed? All right. And then they said L O L. 
then, <laughs> it's a freaky little thing. Right. And then, do you care what's going on in the background? Like, as far as TV and shit. Mm-hmm. Let's eyes, talk about it. Eyes open or closed, both of them. Correct. Okay. Um, both of them. And then, yes, it matters what's in the background. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, sure the fuck, I dude. I got ADHD, bro. If a... you have a cash settlement, then you need. <laughs> bro, something funny in the background. I'm laughing. I'm what? sorry. I'm I got be, ADHD. I'm gonna be so mad if I know a scene is coming up of a movie. We've right. Been I'm gonna be like, bro, I, I like, know you're not like focused. Movies are on. on. I can do like music, but I can't do like movies, series. <laughs> Y'all ever had sex while porn was on? Yeah. Actually, yo, this shit. This shit. That's lit. Turn- I tried that one nah. time. It was different. This shit. You gotta do everything in the porn on dude. Yo, Basically. one time I don't know what the fuck it was. All right, so my girl had a laptop that at this time still had like like the little CD slide and joint, right? <laughs> so she put on a porno on the TV and then put on in a DVD of something different. So she had two different things. Pornos, baby. Can we get back to that? <laughs> Okay, so I had to what? look in the camera. I had to Ooh. look in the camera. What? Who's your baby? Oh, Tisha. Yes. Okay, okay, bitch. I was about to. I was, no. Baby, who can who get? No. Bro, no, I'm about no, to wrap I'm not, up. Yeah. Yo, I didn't know you were talking about Tisha. No, 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 no. What's up? What's going she on? She put okay. on two different pornos. Now, that's different. And we had sex in the living room. That's different. Yeah, try that's Netflix lit. and chill. <laughs> try to put a porno on. Fucking chill. Porno and chill. What the porno y'all like? <laughs> Let's be honest. I ain't gonna lie. I used to think like when I first, first of all, I don't watch porno like that. Mm-hmm. I used to think like, yes, lesbian porn, right? But so, I never really yeah, yeah. found no real good. And I'm not like, like I said, I don't watch porn like that. So I'm sure there's some great porn, lesbian porn. What? Oh my bad. What'd you say, bitch? No, nah, go ahead. <laughs> I don't think I haven't seen no great lesbian porn. I like dudes hitting it from the back. I like ass. Ah, ah, ah. Grr. The lesbian hey, porn I seen it ain't feel real. It, don't, it always piss you off, don't it? The girls be eating coochie it's like. A, it's a hit or miss with the girls. <laughs> I like anything that seems real. It's always two films. I want motherfuckers to record this shit on their iPhone. Or an ugly stud. I'm sorry, stud. I'm still like, I, I need this to be like, or like take like giving a strap. No, I, I seen I seen one where it was porn. like a stud. It was nasty. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't watch no stud. Giving yeah, I couldn't. Thing. I enjoy job today, man. <laughs> yeah. This is dope. All right, what no, porn what what you, you prefer? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to say heterosexual. Okay. I'm going to say heterosexual. I ain't they, they be pissing me off. It's certain positions, though. It's certain positions that this. I'd rather they see. They be pissing me off. But I don't like when they go oh, too fast, though. The, when the camera go to the back, and you see the man ass in the balls. Yeah, I don't want to see no fucking yeah, ball. You ain't never see seen that. that I don't even want to see that. I ain't never seen you that. Ain't never see, see, you ain't never seen like the I man balls. I seen that position. I don't want to see a position. Yeah, bro. I was so mad at that I shit. I know exactly what you're talking about. Nah, we appreciate the you. The courage really. that people who make horn, uh, pornos have. Like, yeah. shout out. They need a hot, um, holla at Woody Productions. Uh, okay. what, what, what's the production okay. company? Get it done. Get it done. <laughs> Get it done. That's how. Pornos on the way. Porn you should do way. that. You should hey, just do porn. Can you do? Put you know, Young and May did the little uh, right. strap and shit. Nah, but she was part of the porn, the oh, porn she hub. Porn? Yeah. She was no, oh. she she oh, was yeah, like yeah, I remember that, yeah. director. Mm-hmm. Since you you're next. single. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm just gonna direct you. I'm not. Yeah, gonna yeah. No, oh, no, okay, no. Okay, not okay, you okay, be okay. in it. No, okay, no. Okay. Your production. Get it done. You better get it done. I. Nah, thank you. I hope we answered yeah, a lot Woody. of fans' questions. Yeah, you know shout I mean? out to you guys. We're going to bring you back again once season two drops so we can talk about it, see Please. where you at at that point. Cause you're I'll be looking forward to it, yeah. You're going to be on 50 goddamn million goddamn views and goddamn y'all saying, okay. yeah. man, you bitches still going to be mad. <laughs> they always going to have some shit to say. Hey, right, y'all take out my first interview right here on the No Homo Show. Hey, hey. Duval <laughs> in this bitch. Whole lot of gay shit. Whole lot of gay, 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 gay. I like that. Boss Brit. We certified. And DJ Excel.